In the waning months of 2016, David Bennett, the steadfast custodian of the storied Bisa Motorcycles brand since its decline in the early 1970s, reached out to Anand Mahindra, the chairman of Indian automotive giant Mahindra and Mahindra. Bennett had a proposition. Visa, once legendary name in motorcycling, was up for sale. Reviving the venerable British mark thrilled Mahindra, who possessed the financial clout and the strategic ambition to breathe new life into the brand. However, progress was slow, as is often the case in the labyrinth of corporate negotiations. For over half a year, discussions meandered, and just when the finish line seemed within reach, a rival Indian conglomerate swooped in, threatening to steal the prize. Fate, however, had other plans. Six months later, Bennett was back on the line. The rival was taking too long to seal the deal, and the question was simple. Was Mahindra still interested? With the speed of lightning, Mahindra recalled at the India launch of the Bisa Gold Star 650, which was introduced in the UK in 2021. He contacted his team, and within 48 hours, the deal was done, bringing Bisa into the fold of Mahindra's classic legends PVT LTD, Anyapam Therija, co-founder of Classic Legends PVT Limited, joined the conversation and reflected on his exchange with Bennett. When I called David, I could tell he was unhappy, Therija recalled. I asked him why, especially since he was being offered more money. David replied, I'm in my mid-80s, sipping my single malt here in the UK. All I want is to see this bike back on the road. We showed him our vision, and I believe that helped sway his decision. What followed was Mahindra's remarkable deftness and speed in closing the deal, which was truly impressive. The Bisa Gold Star 650 is priced from Rs 2.99 lakh onwards X showroom, Delhi, and will compete directly with the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 and Benelli 50 to C, among others. Also sold in Europe, Turkey, New Zealand, and the Philippines, the Gold Star 650 will enter the US, Australian, and Japanese markets soon. Founded in 1861 in Birmingham, England, the Birmingham Small Arms Company, Visa, evolved from a firearms manufacturer to the world's largest motorcycle producer by the 1950s. During both world wars, Visa played a crucial role, producing over 126,000 motorcycles for military use in World War II alone. According to Visa, its connection to India dates back to the pre-independence era, when its motorcycles were favored by British officials and affluent Indians. Therija highlighted that India's 650cc's motorcycle segment is split between imported CKD models and locally produced bikes. Currently, the market is around 15,000 to 20,000 units, but it's expanding rapidly, with the potential to double or even triple soon. He noted that the manufacturing capacity at their Pathampur plant in Madhya Pradesh is flexible. Redux